Okay, in this video, we're going to have a look at a very simple display. Now, you're familiar with an OLED display or an LCD display, but this could also be used as a simple display. It's a 50 microamp panel meter. Now, you remember the gas gauges back in the old cars and trucks. They had an E for empty, they had an F for full, and there's no numbers in between. But if you looked at that meter, even from a distance, and you saw the needle in the middle, you knew you had a half a tank of gas. So it was a very simple display, and we could also do that. So if you're measuring pressure or temperature with a microcontroller, you could send that value to this display using PWM, and it's very accurate. So if you have a project, sometimes you could use a panel meter like this, and it's very simple, and it would be the best solution. Okay, so here's my setup. I have a PIC microcontroller on board the SCAMP3 board, feeding my panel meter through this calibration potentiometer, and that's all you need. So I could send values now from my microcontroller to my panel meter, using PWM, so 0% PWM will be 0 and 100% PWM will be full scale. So that's all we need. So on board I also have a, an accelerometer, uh, ADXL345. So at the near the end of the video I'm going to show you a real world application where we could take values from the accelerometer and we could build a little tilt meter so we could send 0 to 90 degree tilt to the meter from 0 full scale 90 degrees. Okay, I have a little program running on the SCAMP3 board, which is outputting a PWM signal on GPIO pin 3 through the calibration pot and directly to the meter. Now I have it mapped to my keyboard, so every time I hit the 8 key, my up key, I'll increment my PWM signal by 1%, and my 2 key will decrement my PWM by 1%. So if I hit my 8 key, see I'm incrementing my PWM, my meter is moving up. If I hold it, I could take it all the way up to that's 100%. PWM, that's 3.3 volts, and I could take it down with my 2 key, all the way down to 0, 0% 0 PWM. Okay, here's the schematic diagram of the circuit that I built on my breadboard, and it's very simple. So we have the SCAMP3 board, and GPIO pin 3 is connected up to a 56K ohm resistor, which is in series with a 10K ohm pot, which is in series with the 50 microamp panel meter. So to calibrate it, we send a 100% duty cycle. PWM from pin 3 and we adjust the calibration pot until we get full scale on our microammeter. Now we could use a different uh, microammeter if you don't have the 50 microamp ammeter you can use say a 1 milliamp uh, ammeter but you have to adjust uh, resistors accordingly. Okay here's the code running on the scan 3 board and it's written in flash forth and it's fairly simple so the first thing we do we have to set up the PWM channel that's what this word does so we're using 300 hertz for the PWM signal, and it'll be on GPIO pin 3 and channel 6. So if you run PWM setup, it'll set up our PWM channel on pin 3. This is the word that does everything. It's called percent PWM. So if we type 50 and then percent PWM, the meter will go halfway. If we type 100 and then percent PWM, we'll get it full scale. So you take whatever you're measuring, your temperature, your pressure, and you scale it to 0 to 100% PWM, and that's what this word does here. And that's all you need. These two words does everything. The next bit of code is just to test the meter. It's called PWM.meter. That's where it's mapped to my keyboard. So my up keys will increment my PWM percentage 1%, and my down key will decrement my PWM percentage 1%. So that's how you could test your meter. Just run PWM.meter and that will test out your whole program. Okay, I have my tilt program running, so I'm taking values from my accelerometer, and I'm changing them into PWM signals and feeding it to my meter. So when my meter reads zero, that's zero degree tilt, and full scale is 90 degree tilt, and it's very accurate. The accelerometer, it's plus or minus a tenth of a degree resolution. So if I tilt my board, there'll be 45 degrees, and I could take it all the way up, to maximum 90, back down to 45, back down to zero. So you could use this in your 4x4 truck when you're out in the bush. You could test the tilt of your truck. Yeah, it's very accurate. And now all you need is a meter and you could check out your tilt. Okay, so now you know how to turn a panel meter into a simple display. And you could take this bezel off, this plastic bezel off, and put your own custom scale in there. If you go online, you can find software that will print custom scales. In my case, I could have a scale from 0 to 90 degrees for my, for my tilt meter. So uh, look into uh, using a panel meter for a display to embed into your projects.